So what? When did you first get into fashion? I know you went to University of Tennessee for for T- TSU. Okay, TSU. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. No worries. No worries. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Would yeah, you yeah. talk about that a little bit? I went there for actually for like physical therapy. Like oh. I, it was like I was like completely like another direction in my life. I noticed that they had started a fashion program and I was like always in the fashion like throughout high school. Like where everybody was copying Jordans, I was copying like Wallabies and like stuff like, you know what I'm saying, with a little bit more flavor. And um, I, uh, I, took, I took those courses, got into fashion. Fashion was like very accessible to me. It was something that I really looked at as art at the time. Like I was like really, you know, like I would buy stuff from like you know, Goodwill and like get it tailored so it still look good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So stuff like that. So, you know, it wasn't even about like the, the high fashion at first for me. It was just about like the aesthetic of, of clothing. Can you look good with, you know, not very much money? All right, back in the day, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't cool to wear like knockoffs at all. I think nowadays you can look exceptionally well with not much money because the H&M is like so popular, uh, Zara, but they will like, take from a season a high-end season and make stuff for that's affordable yeah for like the layman or whatever yeah and like now that's like nothing it's like dope to like rock that stuff you know what i'm saying like i love going to h&m and copping some some stuff so now i'm on another level like now that you know the the bank account is a little little pot belly you know what i'm saying you you want to step it up oh now i can buy these like um raf simmons archive and like 10 years later It'll, it'll be worth more than what it is now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like an investment almost. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, to, to what extent, like, are there certain things that are more investment worthy? Like, like are, I've heard yes. sneakers, sneakers are like a pretty damn good investment, right? Sneakers are the greatest investment any man can ever make. Uh, I definitely, you know, I definitely uh, say go get some sneakers, like, get them crazy. The Yeezys, you can see, I mean, that right there, the Yeezys alone, are like why you should invest in shoes. Uh, what are your like, um, if you have five five designers that are continually impressing you? Who Man, are they? right now I'm obsessed with Dries Van Noten. Mm-hmm. And um, that's like a Swedish brand. Like, it's just like staple pieces. True. Um, Raph Simmons, just because, not just, I like Raph Simmons not just because of like his designs, because it's awesome, just because of him, the person. Mm-hmm. Helmet Lang is always a good go-to. Come de Garçon. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, Riku Kabo. She's a Japanese uh, designer who's been doing it forever. And then Rick Owens would be, be like, definitely. Rick Owens is just crazy. South side of Chicago, dudes wear Rick Owens. Mm-hmm. You know okay. what I'm saying? It's like all black, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like crazy ninja shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. So, so yeah, those, those are definitely like my top five. Hip hop, to me, right now, is the driving force of fashion, of like what people will wear. You know what I'm saying? You see it on the street. You see, you just, all you have to do is look at the new generation. Like, look at what kids are wearing. The coach is like, in, you know, in love with hip hop. Like, in like what it does for fashion. So, yeah, I think it's dope. So, would you change clothes for the oh, stage? For sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I always keep. I always keep something like that. You, know, you, got to, you, know, you <laughs> never know the situation. Yeah. Know? Seriously. I've given a lot of clothes away actually too. Uh, like, on stage or like just around? Yeah. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. You want to elevate people, and then also too, it's just like the connection. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, yo, like, you want people to like, uh, maybe one day like, in, be inspired by something that you like helped out with. I don't, I'm not huge on like. Trends, I like what I like. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. as I got more mature, like I just want like stuff to be like, oh, I can go out on a date, or I can like hop on stage and still be fly. When you're in Nashville, man. You could end up with Spurs you, you'll and never fucking know cowboy boots. You'll never know with me. Like, if if freaking Raph Simmons makes some Spurs cowboy boots, I might do it. Yeah, yeah. You never know. Right on. It's fashion, bro.